Hey everyone, Eddie Campos here with Coffee with Eddie. Thanks for tuning in. We're talking today with Hal Gregory, school superintendent for Oregon City Schools. Hal, thanks for joining us. I really appreciate it. Hey, no problem. Good morning, Eddie. I'm not sure that anyone else has been anticipating this interview, but I know that you and I have because this conversation started a year ago on March 20th. Yeah, I appreciate that. You had reached out and and wanted to hear a little bit about uh, Oregon City Schools and and what we've been doing. And then uh, life changed for all of us. And uh, here we are over a year later, finally uh, having the opportunity to have this interview. So I do appreciate it very much. Well, I appreciate you coming back around and giving us the opportunity to speak. So, you know, real quick, you know, I want to compliment you guys on your website. I thought that the communication that you're putting out to your your uh, community through the website is fantastic. I, I, I saw messages from, I think, March 12th all the way up through yep. April 13th of this year. Yeah, you know what? Obviously, there were a lot of questions that were flowing all the way a year ago when this hit on March 13th. Uh, and, you know, at that point, we, we, we knew we had to come up with something in terms of communication. And, and certainly, my email communications that I would send out to our families and, and community, uh, we were able to then, you know, put on one site for easy uh, access by our community. But throughout that time, too, we held community forums through webinars just to answer questions for our community. Probably did at least 10 of those where I would get on a, a Zoom just like this and our community would have the opportunity to answer questions. And, and uh, you know, it was a time when answers were taken either positively or negatively, uh, depending on individual situations. But at the end of the day, it was open communication, and I feel good about that. Well, so how did you guys start uh, with schooling uh, when all of this hit? Uh, was it hybrid? Was it all uh, at home? Was it, uh, you know, wh- what did you guys end up doing to start the year of 2020, 2021? Yeah, after we got through last spring in the fourth quarter in the summer, you know, we, we weren't really sure where we were going to go. So, uh, but, but, but numbers were high. And uh, at that point, we started the school year remote, as many of the Lucas County schools did. So to just kind of give you a, a scenario or a timeline of kind of how we went throughout this year, if, if that's okay, we started out remote August and September. And as we started to watch, you know, how everything was unfolding uh, in terms of cases and those types of things, uh, mid-October, we made a decision to go hybrid, which is uh, two days in school, two days remote, and like one kind of day where it's kind of a, uh, a support day for kids. So we ended up being then in that hybrid situation all the way through October and had a plan to come back then four and then five days a week in November. We had just started our four and five day returns when everything hit the wall again in November and it got really, really bad right before Thanksgiving. Sure, and then so there's ended up some changes as well. Exactly, so with the numbers, we made a decision to go remote, uh, kind of going into Thanksgiving and then Lucas County uh, Health Order uh, basically put us in a remote situation through January 11th. So at that point, then we we started back into the hybrid to full-time where we are now. 